Okay. Hello, my name is Queen. I'm a current senior at Furman University and I'm a double major in psychology and women's gender and sexuality studies. And this is my presentation called Analyzing the Effects of the COVID-19 Pandemic on College Students. I was a diversity fellow working with the Furman admission this past year. And through that experience, I worked with a lot of prospective first-generation students. And that got me thinking about the experiences of first-generation students currently at the university and how they dealt with the COVID-19 pandemic. And just to define first-generation, uh, these are students whose parents did not earn a college degree before they attended their institution. And some background information on first-generation students, they typically come from a low-income background and need additional resources that are not already supplied by the institution, whether that be assistance paying for room and board or school supplies. And these students are more likely to suffer from depression and anxiety in college, as well as this guilt related to the ability to change their social standing with a college degree and kind of separate themselves from the family. We also looked at uh, literature looking at living during a global pandemic as a college student. And this showed that there was a direct limitation of resources that typically would have been available during a regular college year, whether that be the uh, be able to stop by professor's office hours or again, having like a printer or something to help you with school, but also just general high levels of fear and anxiety relating to the instability and the evolving virus and just being able to adjust as necessary. Also looking at the change in the college experience in general and the barriers that are associated with online learning, whether that be having the computer or technology necessary, as well as needing a stable Wi-Fi connection to attend Zoom classes and such, and decreased social connections with the college community. These students are not really around their friends, peers, and mentors, and this can lead to higher levels of cynicism and exhaustion in relation to the college experience. And based on this information, we created a study and we wanted to understand the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic on first-generation college students' psychological well-being and perceived college support. And our two hypotheses were first-generation students may experience more burdens during the pandemic compared to continuing generation students and pandemic-related hassles will predict higher levels of anxiety and lower perceived college support. And so we did this through a survey using Qualtrics all of the participants were recruited using Rutgers uh, recruitment system. And we had a pretty good uh, split between first generation and continuing generation students. We had 46% first generation and 54% continuing generation. Uh, we also had a variation of participants when it came to race and ethnicity, the majority being 42% Asian and 27% white European. And one of the roadblocks that we faced in the study was about 70% of our participants were current first year students. Um, we weren't able to look at some other variables that we were interested in because they didn't have that experience at college before COVID. So we had to kind of adjust and uh, change our study to look at data that we could actually use. And through our methods, we had five different measures. Of course, the first one asking, are they first generation? What's their status? And we also ask the frequency of COVID life events. This related to um, have the student lost a job related to COVID-19? Did they um, know a family member who had suffered symptoms or illness and even having a hard time getting needed resources? And we, that was uh, asked through yes or no. And we also asked about specific COVID-related challenges on a Likert scale, and this included it was difficult for me to get the things I needed due to the COVID-19 pandemic, as well as considering stopping our education due to COVID-19. We asked about general anxiety, as well as perceived college support. Did the university provide the resources necessary, and does the student feel like their education was high quality? And so these are the results of the t-test. We had a uh, significance in relating to the frequency of COVID life events. The mean was generally greater for first generation students compared to continuing generation, which means they experienced more life events. And first generation students also had more difficulties during COVID-19. The mean was 3.27, while the mean of continuing generation students was 3.03. And with this, first generation students also had higher levels of anxiety, 
with the mean being 2.87 for first gen and continuing gen, the mean being 2.64. And there wasn't a significant difference between the groups when it came to perceived college support. And this is a correlation table just displaying the data. If you look at the frequency of COVID life events in relation to COVID related challenges and anxiety, um, the more events that a participant experienced, the more challenges they had and the higher levels of anxiety. Um, and then looking at anxiety and perceived college support, the more anxiety a student may have experienced uh, lets them feeling lower levels of perceived college support from the institution. And this is the correlation table just separated into the first generation participants and the continuing generation participants. And the biggest difference is the frequency of COVID life events and perceived college support not being significant, but otherwise it followed the same trend. Um, all the other uh, variables followed similar trends as the previous table showed. And this is a model just displaying the results. Uh, the reason why first generation students may have higher anxiety levels is because of the frequency of the COVID life events. Again, the more number of COVID life events first generation student experience could lead to higher levels of anxiety. And just to conclude, first generation students in general experienced more burdens during the pandemic compared to continuing generation students. And students who face these COVID related hassles had higher levels of anxiety and only first generation students had lower perceived college support. So in summary, uh, COVID-19 had a greater negative effect on those of first generation status. There were a couple of limitations to our study. As I mentioned before, the participant pool, we had a majority first gen or majority first year students, which means they didn't have that experience. They didn't know what uh, their university was like before COVID. And we wanted to look at culture orientation as well as academic performance. Specifically with culture orientation, we wanted to see how connected they felt to their university and did they feel like they were doing the right thing by continuing their education. Um, and then we wanted to look at GPA and just how that changed or may have changed before, during, and after the pandemic, but we could not look at those variables. Um, and we are currently still living in the pandemic. So if this survey were given at a different time, maybe earlier in the year or even later in the year, certain aspects could have um, different connotations. For example, if a student was asked about a, a relative who experienced these symptoms closer to when the pandemic started, that could have drastically different results than if they were asked more recently when there are when there's more data and information about COVID-19 in general. Um, next steps for this topic is a more research related to the first generation experience during COVID-19. There were a good number of papers out there that focused on the general college experience in this transition, but there were very limited resources available for that discussed first gen experience under the COVID-19 um, pandemic. And I also think it'd be interesting to look at the impact of marginalized identity groups in terms of last summer when a lot of social movements were going on and how they felt how their school either supported them or didn't support them under the guise of the pandemic as well. And just, I wanted to say how I really enjoyed being able to participate in this program. I learned so much. I was able to really deep dive into understanding the research process from the very beginning to the very end. And I have a greater appreciation for it. And it specifically helps because I, I'm interested in the field of educational psychology and identities and how they impact education are really important to me. And I'm grateful to have had this experience. Yeah, and that's all. Fantastic work. Awesome job. Um, Do you want me to picture and screen or? Um, you, you, I think leave it up for a second because you might, I don't know, you might refer to it back just in case you want to go back to a slide. Um, but great 